everybody this is Rob Revan of 3D World and this video we're just going to look at the technique I talk about in the Q&A for Lightwave. Now this is all about taking objects from one layer and adding them to the surface of an object in another layer so I'm just going to add a very quick plane into the scene here like so it's roughly centralized uh, and let's make that just using the nu numerical box here let's just make that 50 by 50 and it can be zero in the y-axis and it's all centered so I'm happy with that just get rid of this oh, and it's disappeared okay let's just do that again 50 by 50 Every turn okay so we've got this one single plane now I'm going to go over into the next layer we'll just do a really really simple object for this and I'm just going to use a cube and I'll make a reasonably small cube in fact if I just come in here and enlarge this so you can see what I'm doing now this is a four foot by four foot cube I'm just going to back out and what we need to do I don't need to worry about what mode I'm in but I'm going to go back to my front view I'm going to make the second layer visible and let's go into the perspective view here I'm just going to back out just a little bit and you can see hopefully you can make this out in the video that I've got the plane in the foreground layer and in the background layer you can just make out the cube there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to multiply and where is it must be under more because I've had to make the um, I've had to make the, the the interface smaller to fit in this video uh, so yes this is what we're looking for it's place mesh now you can see once you go into that tool and it's active you can see you've got this circle with a line which is going up the y-axis now I'm just gonna click once and you can see that it's taken that cube and using a click it places one instance of that cube on the surface and you can pop them around like so I can draw them in now if you click and drag to the right it rotates your instance like so so I could add another one over here um, but if you click and drag upwards you get a larger version of your instance now you can do both so you could spin this around you can make them smaller and you can rotate in both directions like so just by clicking left and right up and down for size and there you go so it's a really intuitive tool to use uh, like many of the modeling tools in lightwave uh, it's very simple to get your head around um, but if you've not used it before then i think this is probably quite a useful video because although it's an intuitive tool it really helps uh, if you actually know it's there so if you imagine a more complex object so you could have a landscape and um, in your foreground layer you could have a tree or a bush in the background layer well using this technique you could very very quickly plant a whole forest or a whole wood uh, or maybe a park or something or you could use uh, you could put props into various layers uh, so you could have like cups or plates in one and then saucers in another or knives and forks or a loaf of bread and then you could just change which background layer you're using and in the foreground layer you could have let's say uh, you could have a, a table and then you could use this tool to lay the table basically and just kind of pop things around uh, in fact let's do something slightly different let's now go back into this scene let's take that cube in fact let's go into a, a different layer again uh, let's go into our third layer and this time I'm just going to create a ball I'll do this let's add a ball like so it doesn't have to be round necessarily hit space bar and I'm just going to move this up so it's it doesn't matter actually matter where you you put it uh, it will drop it onto that surface anyway so let's go back to our foreground layer 
because I've got a ball and let's go back to multiply uh, oh wait, more and place mesh and you can see this ball is sitting perfectly on that object now what we might be able to do and you can see because this this foreground layer now has all these cubes on it what you will notice that is as you move around that object these cubes are now part of that front layer and if you go to the right place let's just add one there you can see I can actually add onto the other faces of this object so I can add a ball up there if you go over here do the same let's add a small one there and I'll add a uh, like a turntable video of this so you can see what's actually done you know in real world terms and let's just pop around and see what we've got so you can see here that this is actually sticking properly to the surfaces I'll just reduce that one um, so you'll see a turntable so you can see they're actually all sitting on the floor as you expect them to they're not kind of intersecting in any way um, and experiment with the tool and this is a, about as basic as it's possible to get with this example uh, but well worth uh, having a go